What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, John, from the Jersey Shore, and I'm not only here to wish you Merry Christmas today, I'm also here to give you my review of the 2006 film, Black Christmas. <laughs> Christmas was written and directed by Glenn Morgan, and this movie stars Katie Cassidy, Kristen Cloak, and Robert Mann. This movie begins with a boy named Billy. He was born with a liver disease which caused him to have yellow skin, and because of this, and because of her simply because of her disdain for Billy's father, her mother hates Billy. Hates Billy, hates the father. So because of how much she dislikes Billy and how much she dislikes her father, she mistreats him his whole life growing up. She doesn't give him Christmas presents. She tells him that Santa Claus is dead. She's just a dreadfully horrible human being and especially bad mother. At one point, you see Billy looking under his uh, bedroom door and the mother is arguing with the father. And the next thing you see is the father's face land on the ground, he's covered in blood. Billy just witnessed her mother and her, his mother's boyfriend murder his father. So fast forward a little bit of time and you see that Billy is now being kept in an attic. He's kept in the attic, he's being neglected, he's barely fed, and he's just being mistreated by his mother. Her mother is more interested in her boyfriend than she is her yellow-skinned son. Fast forward a little bit of time, I guess Billy's probably now 12, 13, 14 years old. You see his mother downstairs inside of the house, Billy's up in the attic, but you see that she's drinking in, 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 a, in a drunken stupor. You see her make her way up into the attic. The next thing you see, is a, a shot of Billy sitting in a chair, but in front of Billy stands his mother, and all you see is the back of her feet and her calves, and then suddenly you see her robe drop. The next thing you see is uh, text comes across the screen that says nine months later. You know what she did. What'd she do? Oh, Jesus. Now we have baby Agnes in the mix. Billy has a little sister. Or does he have a daughter? Next thing you know, Billy has a daughter and a little sister. This poor kid's life is messed up. So again, we fast forward a few years. I guess Agnes is probably eight or nine years old, and Billy manages to break out of the attic. Billy manages to get a hold of Agnes, and he's trying to strangle her and kill her by putting a bag over her head, but he does manage to tear out one of her eyes. My boy's got a twisted eye fetish. So Billy's mother realizes that he got out. Then he realizes that she realizes that Agnes has been taken, or that Agnes is missing, and in the process of running around screaming, looking for Agnes, Billy manages to kill the mother's boyfriend with a Christmas decoration, and then he strangles the mother with Christmas lights and garland. So the next thing you see, Billy drags his mother's dead body into the kitchen, beats her a little bit more with a rolling pin, throws the rolling pin up on the counter where she was obviously making cookies, there's flour spread all over the place, and he grabs a cookie cutter, pulls back his mother's robe and starts going to town with a cookie cutter on her back. Break away, come back, and you see Billy with an oven mitt on putting bloody flesh Christmas cookies into the oven. So I guess due to all the commotion, the neighbors call the cops. So the cops show up, and when they open the door, Billy is sitting at the kitchen table covered in blood, dipping flesh co cookies in milk and eating them. Delicious. So it's very obvious that Billy's just a wee bit off kilter, so he's shipped away to an insane asylum. The cops, I guess, manage to save Agnes, and they get her shipped off to a hospital, and she is eventually placed in an orphanage, where you would think that she would be much better off. So again, we flash forward, and the house that he grew up in, the house where all this stuff took place, has now become a sorority house. I don't think there's any great mystery as to where this movie's going. So the girls that are in this sorority house, I mean, you got the, the typical the typical girls you see in these types of slasher movies. You got the, the miserable, miserable smart mouth girl who's drunk all the time. You got the happy innocent girl. You got the sorority mother who's just ruling over everyone. Nobody likes being told what to do. Nobody wants to do anything that they don't feel like doing. It's Christmas time, everybody's supposed to be happy. Nobody's happy. What they don't realize is everybody's getting ready to be really unhappy. So, of course, Billy makes his way back to his childhood home. It is now a sorority, 
and mayhem just starts to break loose. The strange thing is that for some reason now Agnes is there too. Even more strangely, Agnes looks a whole lot like a man. That's probably because she was portrayed by male actor Dean Friss. All right, so that's it. I'm not gonna tell you any more details about this movie. I guess the movie was okay. It wasn't bad. It actually did hold my attention. It wasn't the greatest horror movie that I've ever seen. It wasn't even the greatest Christmas horror movie I've ever seen, but it was pretty good. I know that this is the second installment of these movies. There was The original movie was made in 1974. Then there was this movie in 2006. And then there was a, there's a third movie that's getting ready to come out. Now, actually, I think it is out right now in the theaters. I didn't have any problems with any of the actors in this movie. I thought that they all did a pretty, you know, a fair enough job. Everybody was reasonably convincing. There wasn't anything overblown or overacted in this movie like you see with a lot of the slasher movies. Every, everybody did a pretty good job. I also liked a lot of the practical effects in this movie. I'm sure that there was some CGI stuff snuck in there. It was 2006, so by then they were already doing that stuff. But the vast majority of the effects in this movie did seem to be practical effects. In my opinion, practical effects are always going to look better unless it's a, uh, a situation where you literally cannot physically create something. So overall, I would say Black Christmas was pretty good. It was definitely an entertaining movie, and I would say do yourself a favor and watch Black Christmas. Tis the season, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so that is going to do it for my review of Black Christmas. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to go on this journey with me. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day, and thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. <laughs>